late 19th century saw the peak of modern imperialism and worldwide rivalry between European powers would prove too much for treaties and conventions to restrain. The two blocs, one Great Britain, France and Russia, the other Germany and Austria-Hungary, moved slowly but inexorably toward the first great conflict of modern times. The war to end all wars was about to begin. The scope of the war is difficult to grasp. A web of obligations, treaties and opportunistic alliances drew over 30 countries into the bloody struggle. And in Western Europe alone, the front line stretched more than 400 miles. From Belgian ports to the distant Swiss mountains, a million men awaited the fateful orders that would send them over the top. In the east, battle lines split the continent. From the Baltic Sea in the north to the Caucasus in the south, the Russian Empire faced the Central Powers. Yet fighting in Africa, the Middle East and Asia, as well as naval battles raging across the globe, meant that few continents escaped the fighting. This truly was a world war. After years of bloody fighting, Germany and its allies, facing military and economic exhaustion, as well as a newly arrived American enemy, sued for peace. The Central Powers lost the Great War, but the conflict had confounded all prediction, and the outcome was far from predetermined. Any one of a thousand decisions by politicians, commanders, or statesmen could have changed the course of the war. So, how will you decide? How will you fight the war to end all wars?